Looking to build your business beyond Etsy and ready to sell your digital products online? Then you're going to want to check out this video as I'll be sharing a brand new tool by Flowdesk, allowing you to monetize your creative work and accept payments with beautiful checkout flows. Now, in today's video, you can expect a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to start selling digital products using Flowdesk Checkout. But before we get into that, first, let me explain what Flowdesk Checkout is all about. Now, if you've heard of Flowdesk before, you most likely know and love it as your favorite email service provider. Well, that's what it is for me anyway. I've used Flowdesk over two years and it's my go-to for building my subscriber list and also sending out beautiful emails to my loyal audience. I use it for both my personal brand and also my Etsy shop, Penny Street Studio. But now Flowdesk, after listening to their customer feedback and requests, they have just launched a brand new tool. It's called Flowdesk Checkout. Flowdesk Checkout allows users to easily, effortlessly, and seamlessly sell digital products like Canva templates, printables, online courses, and eBooks without the need for additional apps. With Flowdesk Checkout, you have the opportunity to create a consistent experience across all your sales checkout and delivery pages with fully customizable templates to match your brand. Selling with Flowdesk Checkout allows you to sell anything in three easy steps with a sales page, checkout page, and then a delivery page. This is a great option for those who are ready to build their online business beyond Etsy, which is something I recommend to students of my course Passive Income with Canva and to anyone who's really looking to increase their business revenue. So why will you love using Flowdesk Checkout for your business? Well, first, Flowdesk allows users to accept payment using beautiful workflows. Flowdesk offers no platform fees, just pay the Stripe fee along with a 30 cent transaction fee and you're on your way. It's easy to set up payments in three easy steps. There's no need for you to have a website if you don't feel like you need or want one. Flowdesk Checkout allows you to seamlessly add customers to your email list, giving you a way to stay in touch and connect with your audience. With Flowdesk Checkout, you'll no longer need a separate email service provider, a sales page builder, or a checkout platform in order to set up payments. There's no need for workarounds with Zapier, which from personal experience can be rather clunky and hard to manage at times. Flowdesk are also offering a too good to be true pricing structure, which makes it super affordable for users to get started. And just like Flowdesk email, you can expect to create a beautifully branded customer experience, which is also important for creatives like you and me. Now let's run through who Flowdesk Checkout is right for. You and Flowdesk are a perfect fit if you're a digital seller who already has your own traffic coming in, you're a digital product seller who likes using social media like Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, or even YouTube to find customers. You're an Etsy seller who's ready to build your business beyond the platform and start selling to your own list of customers. Flowdesk Checkout isn't right for everyone, so let's make sure you don't fall into any of the following categories. Flowdesk Checkout isn't the right fit for you if you're a digital product seller who doesn't have and doesn't want to build an audience. You're not interested in building your audience through social media. And if you're an Etsy seller who has no interest in building beyond the virtual Etsy seller doors. Okay, so let's get into some pricing. So how much will Flowdesk Checkout cost? Well, for a limited time, you can lock in a 50% off bundle pricing for the lifetime of your subscription and get Flowdesk email and Flowdesk Checkout for just $29.50 per month. That's US dollars. Now you'll want to hurry as the bundle pricing will go up to $59 per month on November 1st. That's an insane amount of value and in comparison to most email service providers and checkout platforms, this is way cheaper than most. If you're interested, I'll leave my affiliate link below this video that will give you a 30-day free trial of Flowdesk email and Flowdesk checkout and then upgrade before the 1st of November to lock in that special deal. And if you're interested in learning more about Flowdesk email for now and want to learn more about how you can implement Flowdesk and email marketing into your own business, specifically for the Etsy sellers out there, then I'll leave a link to that short playlist where I go into this in more depth. All right, let's go ahead and dive on into Flowdesk Checkout, where I'll show you how to set up your new checkout system and also share with you how I'm using it for my own Etsy shop, Penny Street Studio. 
let's go ahead and dive on in. Now, whether or not you've started with a brand new Flowdesk account or you've upgraded your Flowdesk account to include checkouts, you are all going to be able to access the new checkout system. You're going to get the 30 day free trial of checkouts. And then when you're ready to upgrade, make sure you do so before November 1st to make sure that you get that 50% off. Now, the first thing you want to do before we get started with checkouts is you're actually going to want to set up your Flowdesk account so that you can actually accept payments via Stripe. So in order to do that, you just go over to your account settings here, go ahead and click on checkout setup. And here is where we can start connecting our Stripe account. So for myself, I've already connected my Stripe account. So it says connected, but you might see a button that says connect your Stripe account here. So just go ahead and click on that. You're going to want to answer all the questions that Stripe are asking to connect your account with Stripe and Flowdesk. And then it will organize and set up for you so that you can start accepting payments. Okay. Additionally, um, if you want to insert any terms and conditions to your product, things like your refund policy and other terms and conditions, I would highly suggest going and editing your terms and conditions here. So that's the first step that you need to do in order to get your checkout system set up. Now let's go ahead on back to our dashboard now and then we'll go ahead and create our first checkout. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and click the new checkouts button here previously, prior to checkouts, you would have just had emails, forms, workflows, and audience. Now you're going to see this checkout button and everyone's going to have free access to that for 30 days. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on checkouts. Now for my checkouts, I have already created one here, which I'll show you at the end of this tutorial. So make sure you stick around to check that one out. This has been created for a product that I actually sell in my Etsy shop. So I wanted to show you how that translates into selling via Flowdesk checkout um, in comparison to selling on Etsy, for example. Okay, but for now, let's go ahead and create our new checkout. So we're gonna go ahead and click the new checkout button here and it's gonna open up a series of templates that you can start from and create our, um, our sales page, our checkout page, and then our delivery page as well. The great thing about Flowdesk is that it gives you a whole range of beautifully customizable templates that are ready for you to just edit a little bit, add in your branding colors, add in your font and your copy, and then you're ready to go. Okay, we've got them all categorized here so you can browse all of the templates that um, Flowdesk have available for you at the moment. You can um, go by digital product. So this is perfect for us Etsy sellers who are selling uh, Canva templates, printables, ebooks, workbooks, things like that. If you are selling an educational product, so um, a masterclass, an online course, or a webinar, things like that, you can go to the education um, templates. If you're a service provider, or if you want to sell a freebie. So if you want to offer like a free ebook, for example, to build your email list, you can do that there. Alternatively, if you'd like just a checkout page, you can go ahead and use the checkout only templates. So for now, let's go to digital products. And there are two different um, options here for you. So you've got the seller digital product template and then an e-guide template as well. For this example, and for most people um, in my audience, I think the digital product template is the perfect fit for us. So go ahead and click that to have a look at the details of this template. So here is where you can view it. So you can just scroll and view what the template actually looks like. So this is the sales page. You can also have a look at the checkout. So this is what the checkout page looks like. And then we've got the delivery page. So this is the actual um, page that your customers will view once the payment has been processed. So there you go, three easy steps, sales page, checkout and delivery. Let's go ahead and start customizing. So to do so, all you need to do is click the customize button here and it'll open up the template ready for you to edit. Okay, so um, just like any other drag and drop template builder or website builder, it's very, very similar. Also, if you've used Flowdesk email before, you're going to find a lot of these functions very familiar to you. Now, Flowdesk have actually segmented the sales page using what they called blocks. So these are essentially different sections of your sales page that can be edited individually um, to make this sales page completely customizable. Okay. Now, in order to edit 
any block here, all you would do is just go ahead and click on that block. And then it's going to open up a separate menu where you can start editing. So here is your title. So you can edit the text by clicking inside and then just go ahead and change the text here. So add your title here. Here is the subtitle. Again, you can go ahead and add your subtitle here. Here is where you can add a little bit of additional information. This here is called the paragraph. And then here below that, we've got a button. Now this can also be customizable as in the colors and the text, but the actual link for this button is not customizable. Flowdesk have optimized every single button on this sales page to direct it straight to the checkout page. So that way there's less distraction for your customers. So they know exactly that when they click this button, it's gonna take them to where they can actually process their payment, okay? Now, depending on what block you are editing, it'll have different customizable options. So let's say for example, on this block here, we didn't want our title, you could toggle that on and off. Let's say we don't want the subtitle, again, you can toggle on and off whether or not you'd like to remove the paragraph and button, so on and so forth. If you'd like to change the background color, you can do so by clicking the color background here. You can choose any of um, Flowdesk's custom colors or if you've already uploaded your custom colors and your branding colors to your Flowdesk account, you're gonna see them appear here. So these are all my branding colors for um, my business. So I can easily just select any one of these colors here. Okay. Now, um, if you know the hex color code of the color that you would like, that's as easy as just entering it in here. So lots of different options available for you there. You've got options to edit the padding of your block. So if you wanted it to be extra small, large, medium, so on and so forth. Okay. Now I forgot to mention when you do click on these text boxes, you are able to edit the font, the color, the alignment, whether or not you'd like to change the case, the spacing, so many different options here. If you want regular or italic, bold font, it's completely customizable. So I'm just gonna show you that. To change the font, you would just go ahead and click on the font here. Go ahead and select any font that you like. I'm gonna go ahead and select Arial Black. You can change the size by um, scrolling up and down or even typing in the size that you like here. You can also change the font color. So if you wanted it to be white or a darker blue, oh, honestly, everything is just completely customizable. So what you would do is you would add in your titles, your subtitle, you would add in your copy and then go ahead and um, change the button here. So instead of it saying, get the bundle, maybe download now, okay, or buy now. To add in any images, all you would do is click here, then go to upload image, and that's where you can start entering or uploading any of the images that you would like. So this is where you would showcase the best of your digital products. I'm just gonna go ahead and add one in here now, just for an example. There we go, so that's our image inserted. You can also change the shape, so you can go square, circle, arch, fancy arch. So have fun and play around with it and make sure that it suits your branding, okay? So that's how you edit anything within a block. Now, if you would like to um, delete a block, let's say you didn't want this block here, so this section within your sales page, all you would do is click on it and then it's as easy as just clicking the trash button and then voila, it's gone. If you would like to add in a block, again, pretty easy. You can add in a block above or below so let's say we wanted to add in a block here. Let's go ahead and add block. And then what it's going to do is going again, offer you a whole range of different template options that you can insert into your sales page. These are all categorized for you by layout type. So let's say you wanted to enter in another header. So you could you know, insert one of these. If you would just like some text, Let's say you've got some frequently asked questions that you would like to insert. Perfect for us uh, digital product sellers with customers that have plenty of questions. This is a perfect section to include within your sales page. If you would like to insert an image, you can check out some of these blocks that have images um, included within them. A gallery, so let's say you have a range of images that you would like to insert. Alternatively, they've got beautiful mock-up templates here that are perfect for us digital sellers. If you'd need to include a list, they've got list, they've got an option to include video. 
Um, sales pages have been proven to um, convert higher when videos are included. So that might be something that you could include in your own sales page. Pricing layouts and also testimonial layouts. So just go ahead and scroll through these just to see what might suit you best. What I suggest is actually making sure that you've got an idea of what you want to create before you start to sit down and actually create this sales page. By having a draft of like the images that you would like to use, the copy that you would like to use, and just the general layout of how you want it to look will make it so much easier when you come down and actually start editing your templates. Okay, so there's just a hot tip for you there. Okay, so let's go ahead and just insert one of these. So I'm gonna go to the text button and I'm gonna to insert the frequently asked question. So there we go, it's as easy as that. So that block has been entered. Now, um, each block is going to have different customizable options. So for example, in this block, you can actually edit how many columns there are here. So if you wanted three columns, you could go ahead and scroll over and then you've got three different columns here. So it just depends what aesthetic you would like for your sales page. You can um, toggle on the title on and off change the background, the padding, again, lots of customizable options here. Um, what I love about this sales page is it gives you options to add in testimonials. So for example, if you are an Etsy seller and you've gotten sales in the past, along with some reviews and feedback from your customers, go ahead and take those snippets and then add them into your sales page here. This is a great way to help convert customers. Um, once they see other people's testimonials, they're more likely to purchase. Okay, so go ahead and insert all of those details from some of your testimonials. Um, here is where you can add in your price, some additional information. Again, plenty of buy now buttons. Here we go. So another button here that's going to take your customers directly to the checkout page when they are ready to make that purchase. So that is the sales page. Um, pretty straightforward. Like I mentioned, if you've used Flowdesk email before, this is going to be very familiar for you. Okay. All right. Now, second step, let's go ahead and do our checkout. So in order to do that, just go ahead and click checkout. Also, I thought I would mention a great thing about Flowdesk is that it saves automatically. No need to click any save button so you don't risk um, losing all that hard work that you've done. Okay. All right. So this is the checkout page. Again, everything pretty much is customizable apart from the payment details here. So in order to start customizing and editing, just go ahead and click on the page. Here is where you can toggle on and off any items that you wish. So you can include an upsell if you like. So an upsell is a pretty much a one-time offer that you can offer your clients upon checkout. It's usually a, you know, a highly discounted product that they won't be able to purchase anywhere else. So if you would like to include that, you can. If not, you can just toggle that one straight off whether or not you'd like your logo. So you can turn on and off your logo. The beautiful thing about these sales pages and checkouts is that you can also get your customers to automatically opt in to your email. So your newsletter, which is great. So that's a great way to start building that email list, which is also important. So here is where they can sign up. So it's just as easy as ticking a box and then bam, they'll be added to your email list. But if you're not interested in that, no problems. You can go ahead and toggle that one straight off. Okay. Would you like to include a discount code? Yep. Yeah, no worries. It's easy. Just go ahead and toggle that one on and then you can start creating discount codes. This is perfect to promote people to perhaps join your email list. And as they join your email list, you might be able to offer them a 10% discount. Who knows? There's just so much freedom here to do exactly what you need to do for your business. Just below here, we've got our testimonial. Um, so this is another place where you can add in a quick testimonial of one of your products. You can also toggle that one on and off if you'd like. And again, your terms and conditions. I would highly suggest including terms and conditions, especially when you're selling digital products. OK, so let's go ahead and click that one on. So that is how we customize our checkout. Now to um, edit each individual section here of our checkout, that's super simple. All you would do is just go ahead and click here and then it's going to open up different areas that you can edit. So here for our contact information, we can change whether or not we want the first name and last name included. We can include an opt-in message. So sign up for my weekly newsletter. Let's say we send a monthly newsletter. You can 
easily update that to say monthly. From here, you can automatically add your subscribers to your segments. Now, if you've not used Flowdesk before, you might be unsure of what segments are, but essentially segments are just ways of organizing your list or your audience and your subscribers into different categories so you know what kinds of things that they're interested in. So you can go ahead and Um, add them to a newsletter segment or a sales segment or a product segment. So you can do that just by typing in or creating brand new segments. Okay, so you can do that right here. So while we're in here, you can also um, edit different areas of the checkout straight from this um, menu right here. So the product can be changed. So you can change all the details of your product. So we want to, this is where you would include the price. So let's say it's a $27 product. By default, it's going to use your country's currency. If you'd like to include it on sale, you can do so. So let's say it's going to be on sale for $15 rather than the $27. Alternatively, you can make it for free by toggling that button right there. Okay. Add an image of your product here, the name and a description so that people are clear on what they're purchasing. The great thing about Flowdesk Checkout is that you can include upsells. Upsells are a great way to increase the order value of your customers. So usually an upsell is a one-time bonus offer that's only ever offered with this purchase okay now in order to edit this is very similar to the product you can change the background color here you can change the price so let's say we wanted to make that $18 I wouldn't worry about putting it on sale or and we don't want to make it for free because it's a bonus offer so we'll leave that as is you can change the bonus offer to perhaps say one time offer here we would add the title description and then go ahead and add um, or change the background color very cool you can also add in the hex code here so that's the upsell contact we've already done you can change the testimonial so you can add in an image of one of your customers and then go ahead and include the testimonial that that customer has left you in the past and then also the um, customer name here Finally, you can also add in discounts. So to do so, all you would do is go to create new, click on that button here, name um, your discount code and then add a discount code. So that's for 10% off. So it's going to apply to all products or you can choose um, just your main product or just your upsell. And then you can choose the discount type. So whether it's an amount or percentage, I'm going to go percentage and I'm going to change that to 10. And then we're going to leave active on go ahead and click save. And then that is our first discount code created. All right, so let's go ahead and close off of that. So that is checkout, all done, ready to go. Now let's do the final step, which is delivery. So go ahead and click on delivery here. And this is where we're going to edit and add in our digital product so that the customer actually receives it. Okay. So again, just like every other page that we've created, you can actually customize and edit this one as well. So just go ahead and click on that page. It's going to open up your menu. Whether or not you'd like to include your logo, we can close that one off. These are different areas. So this is essentially the information that is provided to your customer once they make a purchase. So it's going to include their email, it's going to include their order number, and then also an order summary. Now you can actually um, adjust this by clicking on it. You can flip it around. You can change the image or take off the image completely. You can take away the order details. So it's just a little bit more simple. Um, You can also change the background color and then also the text color as well. Alternatively, you can actually change the text itself. So the font type, the size, the alignment, you know, everything that you did in the sales page as well. So let's go ahead and change that. Just as an example, let's change it to something a little bit more different, I guess. That one there, there you go. Okay, so just below that, is what they like to call instructions. So this is essentially an area where you can add instructions of what your customer can do next or what they can expect next once they've made that purchase. You can omit that completely if you like um, by toggling on and off, but I would recommend leaving it on. So that way you've got a more opportunity to impress and just give a great customer experience. 
just below that is where people are going to be able to access your downloads. So here is the download one. So that's the main download. And then just below that is the upsell. So if you know that you're not going to be including upsells, go ahead and just um, toggle that one on and off. Now, just below that is a bonus section. So if you would like to offer something free to your customer, this is where you would include that. So for example, in my shop, Penny Street Studio, anybody that makes a purchase on my Etsy shop actually gets a special offer and an invite to my customer hub. Now, I would love to extend that to customers on my Flow Desk checkout page as well. So perhaps I could include that here within the bonus offer. And that's what I've done. And I'll show you that um, at towards the end of this video, okay? So that's all of the delivery page explained. Now, in order for your customer to actually get their download, what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to include the link to the download with these buttons. So for example, in my Etsy shop, Penny Street Studio, I sell Canva templates. In order for a customer to receive that Canva template, I include a link. So it's a shareable link of that template within an instructional PDF document. Now, at the time of this recording, you can't add a PDF document or a folder or a PDF file directly to your delivery page here. You can only include links. So a workaround for that is to upload your PDF document or your zip file to a shared folder, something like Dropbox or Google folders, for example then you'll want to grab the link from that folder and then include it into the button. So for example, let's go ahead and click this download now button. You want to click on where it says download. And then here is where you're going to insert the link. So it says here, link to file download. We recommend linking directly to your hosted file. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to change in the future, but for now, this is probably the best option and best way for you to get your digital products in the hands of your paying customers. Okay, all right, so that is how you set up your delivery page. So there you go, you've got your sales page done, your checkout and your delivery all in three easy steps. Now, in order to create a link so that people can actually start purchasing from you, all you need to do is go to publish. So go ahead and click publish and this is going to make your changes visible to the world. Give it a little bit of time and then it's going to give you your link in order to share with your customers. So here we go. So here is our published link. Let's go ahead and copy that one and then we're going to go ahead and paste it into a brand new tab and check out and see how that looks. And here we go. So here is our sales page all ready to be shared with our customers. So add in your title here, your subtitle here. Here's our image. Here's all our different blocks, our frequently asked question blocks. And it looks just so professional and so on brand and just beautifully created. It's just such an amazing experience for your customers. And it's such an easy way to start creating sales pages without the need for any third party tools or any other apps or software. Okay. So for example, this button here is going to take us directly to the checkout. So let's go ahead and click that. So it's been optimized to take us straight to checkout. So here our customer would in insert their information, payment details. Here's their order summary. If they have a discount code and then they can add that one time offer, giving us a grand total of $33. And then they'll just add in their um, payment details and then go ahead and click pay and then it'll open up that delivery page. Now, so what I thought would be great is if I was to demonstrate how I'm doing this with my own Etsy shop, Penny Street Studio. So let's go ahead and jump on over to Penny Street Studio now. So this is my Etsy shop, Penny Street Studio. I sell Canva templates and tools. Now, my very latest product that I've listed on Etsy is a Canva website template. This is brand new. Um, I uploaded it last week. So what I did is I thought it would be fun to create a checkout page purely for this website template. So let's go ahead and have a look at this product now just to show you what it looks like. So here I've got my title, I've got some images here and I've got my description. So here is a whole heap of information about this product and what customers can come to expect of this product. So I thought I could use this information 
and um, a couple of these images and then go ahead and import that into my checkout. So my Flowdesk checkout. So I'm just going to open up that now for you and just show you what I created. So here is my sales page. So here it says, get ready to wow your clients. I've got an image here of what customer can come to expect once they purchase this template. Here it's got get ready to wow your clients with this service and pricing portfolio website template. And then a button here that'll take it straight to the checkout. If we scroll down, I've got a little bit more information here about the product. I've included an image. So this is a mock-up image of what the website will look like. Below that, I've got some information of what's inside. Now, all of this, so this font um, and this font here, the colors is all branded towards that actual template that I created, which is absolutely insane. So just below that, I've got an area where someone can go ahead and actually check out the website demo link. So I've just included a link to the text here. So if anybody's interested in seeing what that um, website looks like prior to purchasing, they can go ahead and click here to demo that website. Just below that, I've got a little mock-up of what the website looks like on desktop, on iPad, on mobile phones as well. So here are a few mock-ups that I've created. Below that, I've got some information on why somebody would love this website template with a button here to go straight to the checkout. Again, some information about the pricing. So I've said here that normally it's $37, but at the moment you can get it for half price at $18.50. Here is where I've included a couple of my testimonials that's come straight directly from Etsy. So these are all customers of mine that have left a raving reviews of my products. So I've just copy and pasted it straight here into my sales page. Below that, I've got some information about how people can edit the Canva templates quite easily and then a mock-up of what it looks like within Canva itself. Below that, a little bit more information. So there we go. So if we go ahead now to the buy now button, it's going to take me to the checkout. And this is what my checkout looks like. So I've got the contact information here, people to insert their payment details. Here is an order summary of what they're going to get. Um, a discount code, if they have one, they can put it in here. And then here is the one-time offer, which is a service and pricing guide portfolio Canva template. So this is so customers can create a PDF version of the template that they've just purchased. So um, a customer can go ahead and click add to order, and then it's going to go ahead and increase this um, total price here. Here I've included another testimonial. I've just gone and grabbed the image that was included on my Etsy review. So I just you know, save this image and then um, copy and pasted the testimonial. So this is all real stuff. So this is exactly how I'm selling it um, from Etsy itself. Okay, so there's that. So I'm going to go ahead now and just insert this information here. I'm going to do a dummy offer, sorry, a dummy sale. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like once the checkout appears. Okay, so once that payment has been created, this is what the thank you page looks like. So this is the delivery page. So it's saying here, thank you, your template is ready. It's going to give them some um, order information details here and the order summary along with the price total. Just below that is where we've got our instructions. So this is the instructions that I've laid out for my customer. Below that, I've got the access to the Canva website template along with access to the portfolio Canva template. So this is the um, PDF document. So the customer can go ahead and click download now to access both of those links. Just below that is where I'm actually giving that free bonus to my customer. So this is the free access to the Penny Street Studio Customer Hub. So as a special thank you to my customers, they can access um, a customer hub where they get freebies and other templates and resources to help them with their business branding. So in order to claim that bonus, all they would do is click here and then it will take them straight to that customer hub. So there you go. So that is the full process of how I'm doing it on Flow Desk Checkout. So once you have created your first checkout, you're actually going to see some stats that you can have a look at 
in order to see how your checkouts are actually performing. In order to do so, all you would do is go ahead and click this button here and it's going to give you all the stats. So I've got, I've had three visitors to this checkout. I've had one order and my total sales has been $4. So that's just an example of what I've done. I only created this um, today, so obviously it hasn't gone out to the world, but that's just an example of um, the analytics also that's available for your checkouts as well. Okay, so there we go. There's your simple three-step process on how to create your sales page, your checkout page, and your delivery page using Flowdesk Checkouts. Okay, if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If not, go ahead, click that affiliate link, grab your 30-day free trial of Flowdesk and start using Flowdesk Checkouts today. Okay, I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.